Who's that? Is that Mr. Daniel? <laughs> Not feeling so uh, hot. You want your mommy again? Yeah, we are at the doctor's office. They're actually urgent care because he's breathing really hard. Can you hear him breathing? <laughs> no, he's, he's looking at the camera now. He goes, I yeah. want to touch the camera. Yes, he was breathing really fast last night. So we took him in and they said, RSV. They think probably we'll waiting. find out in oh, 15 minutes or so. So you guys all know that I had mentioned in one of our premieres when I was chatting with you guys that Daniel and actually some of the little kids were all sick with colds. This is what, day four? He started with a runny nose on Friday and then last night he started with some more rapid breathing and then um, it's just sort of progressed to a point where I wasn't comfortable with it anymore. So we thought, you know, before it gets too far, today is December 31st. <laughs> so it's just before New Year's and things I know how these uh, facilities can get really crazy when doctor's offices are closed. So we thought, you know, he's not breathing that great. Let's get him in. Our doctor told him to bring him here to urgent care. So there he is. He just got his checks x-ray. I think they're going to give him a breathing treatment. And they're thinking it's RSV. They're, they tested for flu too, but they're thinking it's RSV. <laughs> Whoa! Got his nebulizer treatment and got snot things on it. <laughs> uh. Oh, good stuff. What do you think about that, Daniel? The medicine's all gone, but he likes the two. <laughs> yeah, he's playing with it. <laughs> she said it was fine if he chewed on it. Oh, this is good stuff. And Art and I are never without something to do. So Art brought his to-do list for tomorrow, as well as our New Year's resolutions. I'm not sure we're going to have a chance to film that to get that up by tomorrow or the next few days. We'll see how Mr. Daniel's doing. Um, but we do have New Year's resolutions and goals, and I think we're gonna do a video and talk about them, right? That's the plan. That's the plan. Least. We'll see how much Mr. D's gonna let us do in the next couple days. So they said that the RSV, there's really not a whole lot they can do for it. Um, they're gonna keep us here and observe him for a little while just to make sure he's doing really well. They did do a swab for the flu and RSV to see if, you know, that's what it is, but that's what he thinks it is. He looks like he's enjoying himself too yes. much. Yes, he like Mary. Remember Mary? Yes. She was so much fun when she went to the doctor. He must be feeling better. He feels <laughs> like walking. Right. He is so gonna uh, sleep. Nope. No yeah. jelly legs. Sorry, you can't crawl on this floor. We are out and we're headed home. And it turns out it is pneumonia. It sounds like it's a very mild pneumonia. So they put him on the antibiotics and hopefully he gets better soon. Anything else to add? Um, no, he he has to follow. He has to follow. So yes, I do have something else to add. <laughs> He um, has a follow-up with his pediatrician. Obviously today is New Year's Eve, so the office is closed tomorrow. So follow-up will be the day after, January 2nd, and we'll see how it's doing. He said the pneumonia was very subtle, which is primarily due to Daniel's age. The uh, little people can't cough efficiently to get the yucks out of their lungs. And so because of that, they um, are more prone to getting pneumonia. He seemed, the doctor seemed surprised that it was R, wasn't RSV because that was what he thought it was. But either way, it's treatable and we'll just lie low for a little while. Daniel's coughing up lots of stuff from his nebulizer treatment and you now we'll continue pretty much the care we were doing before with the uh, antibiotics added so that's that's the scoop on the way here we did not get a video because well for obvious reasons but we saw an eagle on Boston Lake and I'll see if we can find it on the way home let's see somebody's, oh yeah I think it's still there right yeah, up on the top yeah, of that we'll tree see, somebody stopped in the road so oh yeah someone stopped right there 
think it's to look at the eagle. I'll uh, we'll see if wow. I can find it in the camera. There it is. All right. That is there. cool. Okay. Whoa, slow down, slow down, I slow down. I canceled him. I got somebody behind me. We turned around so we could get a better video of the eagle. And let's see, where is it on the camera? There it is. Right there. A beautiful bird. I know Can I. Zoom in, Art? Yes, I am zoomed in. Yeah, oh, there it is. It'd be cool to see it fly, but I don't want to make it fly. <laughs> it's probably not even legal to do that. It's six o'clock. We've been home for what have we been? Four hours, Art? I think it's four hours. Daniel's been doing better. Very thankful. Yesterday I cooked till my heart was content, which means we have leftovers for dinner. So thankful for that. Charity had leftover pea soup that I had made yesterday. So she, while she was watching the kids, that was happening. So we're we're just making dinner. Daniel is well. He's really really exhausted. Um, he hasn't been able to really have a good nap today. Oh, hot hot hot. Okay, let's put that over here, sweetheart. This is for Daniel's Daniel's medicine. Okay, I just gave it to him. Okay, mommy. So he is um, cranky because he's very tired. He hasn't slept good at all today. But on the whole, he seems to be breathing a lot better. This is a thermometer, kiddo. Kiddo, and I'm gonna try it out for Daniel. Okay. This isn't a toy. You hook it up. Yep. To it actually will connect to my phone. And then I can you keep an idea of what Daniel's temperature is and things like that, okay? So that's a little bit of a Daniel update. We're going to sit down and have leftovers for dinner tonight. Hopefully he can go to bed and have a good sleep tonight. Um, hey, what happened? She bumped her head. Are you okay? Yeah. Okay. And I'm in the middle of canning bones. <laughs> bone broth. I made bone broth yesterday and I've got to finish that. A lot going on with a sick baby. He's riding daddy's back right now. He's happy there. <coughs> We're going to sit down and eat dinner. I'll try to catch you up. When things get settled down, we've got a massive list. I told you guys Art had his to-do list for today, and we're trying to get it. He's one of his goals last year, beginning of 2019, 85% check rate, and we have to get four checks to hit 85%. So just a little bit more to go. Nothing like pushing it to the end. Good morning. So Mr. D had a pretty good night. Say good morning. What are you eating, Daniel? You eating a banana, some zucchini bread. I feel like eating. I'm hungry. No? So he had a pretty good night last night. He slept from a little after midnight. So he made it up for the new year. And almost right until 8 o'clock so that was really good I did not sleep much just because he was uh, we brought his playpen into our room and we let him just sleep in our room so I was I couldn't sleep much because I really was listening to him seeing if his breathing was gonna change because yesterday he was on his nebulizer every four hours and he was like clockwork um, but he seemed last night you know sleeping that longer period seemed to do him a lot of good he still seems to be running a little bit of a fever. You guys can probably can see his cheeks are really rosy. Right? But see, I'm feeling better. Yep, eating. Taking my medicine like a good boy. He doesn't really care. He doesn't really care for the nebulizer that much. And today he was really pitching a fit about it. But I take that as a good sign because if he's got enough fight in him to not like it, <laughs> that means he's feeling better. Yesterday when he would just sit there and I was like, I'm like, yeah, that's not good. That's not a good sign. So, so far so good. We're just going to take it easy today. I think he's going to go back on his normal nap schedule. He hasn't slept well in two days from being sick. Here you go, honey. Take your water. Good boy. Really pushing a lot of fluids with him. Because figuring that's going to keep that, that mucus nice and loose for him. Here, put it over here. There you go. <laughs> but that's the that's the update on Daniel. I'll um, probably 
I don't know. I'll probably see if I can do the video this morning so you guys are all up to date on what's going on. I know I've been posting this on our social media. That's more real time because it's trying to uh, find time to edit with that guy like that right now. It's just not exactly the easiest. So um, for those of you who are watching, um, if you guys want to keep up to date on more real time, um, check me out on Facebook and Instagram. That's where I'm most active. And, you know, I post a lot. On Instagram is mostly food. Um, Facebook is more of everything. Um, but I do post updates on both of those places. So if something like this does go down, um, you guys can find out before we're waiting for these videos to come up. So I'm going to get my breakfast and get everybody up and ready. Everybody, most everybody stayed up for New Year's Eve and welcoming in 2020. So they're a little on the groggy side. We are off to the doctor with Daniel. It's been 48 hours since he's been released from urgent care and they wanted to do a follow-up with him to see how he's doing so how do you think you're doing mr d where is a little snotty yeah see, i'm doing bad. better he seems actually a lot better uh if you followed us on instagram he had, was so wired wasn't he last night that was awesome. he, <laughs> Happy boy, Daniel. He sits there and he's like walking high speed. And again, I take all of this that the fact that he wants to be active means he's feeling better. But he was sitting there getting his nebulizer treatment and he's going up, 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 up. <laughs> like high speed. And you know it's all medication induced. But he had a good sleep last night, he had a good nap this afternoon. So, hoping for a good report this afternoon and things are moving in the right direction. But we'll keep you posted. We're back. Daniel's in bed. And the report is his fever's gone. Yay. It's been 48 hours. So, his fever broke sometime last night. He was still medicated last night. And that was keeping his fever down, but when we let the medicine wear off, he had a fever. So he's been fever free for about 12, oh, 13 hours now. And he said his lungs were sounding better. We don't have to um, go back unless he gets another fever. He goes, even if he gets like a little random fever, it's not a big deal. But if he starts a continuous fever or it lasts longer than just a little while, he wants him to come back in. Um, so other than that, he got the all clear, keep up the treatment. We don't have to continue to do the nebulizers unless he feels, you know, we need to do it for Daniel. But other than that, we're good to go and we'll just resume our normal well baby visits. So... That's the update. I'm going to try to edit this video tonight so I can go up um, tomorrow. Today is January 2nd, so for those of you who are watching this, you guys are um, pretty close to real time here. Thank you everyone who has been on Facebook, Instagram, um, for praying for Daniel and following us. We really, really appreciate all of you guys um, sending us private messages, asking how Daniel's doing. Um, you know, you guys are, are a community here with us and we are so appreciative of all of your prayers. Uh, looks like Daniel's headed in the right direction, which is really what we wanted to hear. And hopefully that will be the end of the sickness for a little while. He did say that, our doctor said that um, right now he's seeing a lot of flu and a lot of RSV. So we're still going to be taking it easy, not putting the kids out and about much for the next few weeks just because we need to get over this. Um, I, uh, I'm trying to think what we've vlogged because we've, we've just been sick. We've been sick for not quite four straight weeks, but it's wherever the bugs are coming from, we're going to keep the kids settled in for a little while so we can all get healthy. We don't want to spread anything to anybody. Spring can't come soon enough. That's all I can say about that. So thank you everyone for watching and we'll see you for our next video. Bye.